You Jesus are crazy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica, and we are down here, girl. <laughs> I am over here cracking up. Where's my phone? Girl, it's in my hand. So you already know what kind of video this is about to be, girl. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, let the diva know you stopped by. I'm looking for my other rings. I couldn't find them, so I had to slap this one on. Hopefully, this thing is working. Let's check. Okay, what's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We're down here. So, um, the mic was working, as you can tell. Um, yes, it, it was. So, let's talk about what's on the blogs, girl. I don't. Is I sponsored the. Now yes. I sponsored the. Let blog. me tell you something. I don't know what is happening. I just have. I've been. I don't know what. Amen. I don't know what to is me. going on, girl. Hush. Let's see what's going on on the blog show. Oh, girl, 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 What is this? Exclusive court docs reveal Jeannie Mai allegedly denied Jeezy visitation, only saw daughter eight times this year. J. Wayne Jenkins petitioner and Jeannie Kamut Mai Jenkins. You went and changed your last name. So y'all be, y'all be so, do you, do you even realize like, do you even realize like what you're doing what it symbolizes when you like change your name and it's you're doing it out of what why are you changing your last name like honestly why is that even a thing why is that even a thing why do you need to change your last name to be in partnership with someone you don't you don't you do not and y'all be changing your last name so fast and so quick and so eager to attach yourself to a man that for some odd reason you think he is worthy of whatever, like, I don't know. No. <laughs> Jeannie Mae Jenkins, honey. Now, now your name is Janie Mae Jenkins. Ain't nobody about to read all of this. But anyways, in the new court documents, this is from Hollywood Unlocked. In the new court documents exclusively obtained by Hollywood Unlocked, rapper Jeezy alleges that his estranged wife, TV host Jeannie Mai, has allegedly denied him visitation to their daughter, Monica Mai Jenkins. Jeezy filed a court docs on Tuesday, April 16th in Fulton County, Georgia court, claiming he's only been, he's only seen his daughter eight times this year and has no idea where she's living. On September 14, 2023, Jeezy born J. Wayne Jenkins filed for divorce from his wife after two years of marriage. At the time, he sought joint legal and physical custody of the child. In November, um, Jeezy reportedly accused Jeannie Mai of gatekeeping their daughter and asked a court for, cu for a custody schedule. In December 2023, Maya denied the claims, insisting she was concerned about the daughter's safety. On April 11th, 2024, TMZ reported that Jeezy wanted full custody, alleging that Mai hasn't been taking care of their daughter. Instead, how do you know if you don't know where she is? Girl, how do you know if she's taking, which is it, Jeezy, girl? Do, is she taking care of the daughter? Do you know where the daughter is? How do you know? You, you're so mad because she has a community helping her raise her daughter. That's the problem. You thought, <laughs> girl, what you, what you thought was going to happen is you was going to have a duplication of you that was mixed with Asian, something you probably wanted, right? You wanted that. Let me, let me give me a little Asian black baby around here. I'll go through all the fucking motions and shit. I know she don't even want to have a kid. So that really makes me feel my ego is really going through the roof because she she has been said she don't even want a kid even though and like she should have took her, taken her own goddamn advice and kept them niggas on the side but you fall into that trap where you believe you're going to be treated better you run down there and change your name girl Ooh -wee. and all he wanted was dna duplication really that's really all he wanted and to be like she said she never wanted kids and i boop she has a kid with me now the two have failed with Jeezy now alleging that despite n numerous attempts, he has only been allowed to see the daughter for spring break. And again, on April 8th, 
He also claims to have no information on where the daughter is living or the state she's in. So how do you know that Jeannie Mai is not taking care of the daughter? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know, girl. Jeezy is currently seeking joint legal and physical custody with a court determined parenting schedule. And then y'all think that, and then y'all go into these things believing that a certain group of women are, they're going to act a certain way. And then you have a child with them and then you forget like, that's her baby. That's her baby. You're not going to act like you want to use this baby as a way to control me you really are not about the baby. You really just wanted the duplication and you really just want to control Jeannie Mai around here. And Jeannie Mai, you're probably like, fuck, I regret not regretting your child, but regretting like this is the person you got, you chose to have a baby with. And it sucks because now look, after, after you said for however long, I don't want any kids. And here comes this dude for some reason. You thought, I don't know based on what, because his previous relationships, he married no one. This is his first marriage with how many children? What did you think? Like both of them, it's, it, I have nothing for neither of them. I have nothing for Jeannie Mai. I have nothing for Jay Wayne Jenkins, nobody. Girl, y'all on your own, team stupid. Let's read some of the comments. <sighs> Does that mean he got her every other weekend? Right. That's what it sounds like. She didn't abruptly leave. You went on social media and stated you wanted a divorce without doing, doing a private conversation. Then you stated she was not focused on the family. Now she's doing great and has her daughter with her. Even when she travels, the baby is watched by family members while she's working. I can tell from this lawsuit, he hasn't paid one dime in child support. He hate the fact that she's soaring and he's clowning. Karma is rough when it comes back and he deserves this. Why didn't he get on a plane to, to go get his baby if he was so concerned to see her? Shout out to Lisa Michelle Garrett, honey. That's her, that's her IG name. Dragged him. Girl, you speak as if him seeing his child is a privilege. That's his right. No, it's actually a privilege. It's not your right. They just because they say it's your right, it's not your right. It's a privilege to be in a child's life. A lot of you motherfuckers don't deserve to be parents. A lot of people don't. And you think just because you exist, you deserve to be duplicated for no other reason than you existing. Like you're somebody great. And then you, then you get these children, you try to control them and want them to be a small imprint, a mini imprint or mini me of you. Right. You can't tell me y'all care about these kids, girl. Let me, let me stop. It's not a, it's not a right. It's a privilege to have children, to be able to raise children to be able to be around children and, and how wonderful they are. It's, it's weird to me, like how a person could not want to be around a kid. Like <clears throat> they're so dope. Just them talking and coming into awareness and the truthfulness about, they just come they're They're closer to the divine than we are. And when they come down here, you, you guys, tr you switch them up. It's the adults who switch up the children. Start feeding them dumb shit, not allowing them to express themselves, trying to repress them, thinking you can control them, thinking they're your property, not seeing the role of a parent as, oh, I have an opportunity to guide a person into adulthood. And hopefully that person goes into the world and is kind to people and doesn't harm people period treats people kind um operates from compassion operates from a heart space not all this weird shit y'all be doing out here you can only hope girl but it's a privilege it's not your right child because what just because you oh, i just because it's my right yeah but then when you have the child what are you teaching you have guns unloaded you know, guns around girl do you really care? Do you? 
or you just want the baby because it's your right. Girl, shut up. Jeannie, I know it's hard because feelings are hurt, but please don't use the baby as a pawn. And G honey, let me tell you something. Some women are not using their children as a pawn. They're just living their life and not considering the father because the father may or may not be inconsistent. So no, nothing is going to stop because I have a baby and you are not going to put parameters on me to make me stop living my life. I have this baby until this baby is going to go with me wherever I go, period. That's how, that's called responsibility, which all you don't have, you take accountability. Yeah, I take accountability. I see the motherfucker ain't shit. Okay, we divorced. We're not together anymore. I'm one monkey don't stop no show. You're not about to try to control me and have me stay, not be able to travel. Like what's his name tried to do with Halle Berry? Gabriel, the, the not, not, not Nyla. I think the baby's name is Nyla. I don't know. She's probably a, a big girl now. Halle Berry's, um, that man tried to act like, um, she couldn't travel. Same with Kenya and Mark. I, I don't want the baby on the show. This is my baby. You're not going to stop me from shooting. You're trying to use the baby as a way to control her movement. Oh, she, I don't know where she is. You don't need to know where she is. She's safe. You don't need to know. Do you really care? Did you call and find out where your other kids were? Why are you running around publicly? Because how come we don't publicly hear about you running around trying to see your other kids? Girl. Imagine having a man profess his love, marry you, plan a family with you, and then turn and turn you into a single mother. Same cycle with the next woman, the next woman, after that, the next woman, and the next woman. A single mother making machine. At some point, you have to realize who the problem is, okay? And listen, that's what I'm saying. At this point, but they said Ashanti was pregnant. Y'all heard about that? They said, I said, I don't care about the girls getting pregnant. Have your babies. If you want a baby, have your baby. Give your baby your last name, have your baby. Understand the, 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 the relationship with the baby should be where the effort and everything goes. This, if, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But that's your baby. So you always have to make sure like, that's the relationship that matters. If this starts looking crazy, let it go. It doesn't matter. Let it go. That still does not affect the way that that person now relates to the child. That doesn't negate that. And for some people, they assume that if I can't be close to the mother controlling her and making her life miserable, then I'm not going to really have much involvement in the child's life. Like you're punishing the child because you can't control the mother. And then y'all act like when the mother is moving and doing her thing, y'all act like it's the mother trying to control the man. And it's not. It's the mother just doing what needs to be done and holding up community and still doing what they need to do and taking care of their responsibility. And you still y'all still over here trying to blame them for shit, trying to blame them for shit. But Jeezy ain't doing none of that with nobody else. You putting this, you girl. Mark did it to Kenya. Didn't he do it to Kenya? They try, they use the child. And then we live in a society that blames women for everything. So it's like, oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. No, his actions, what he's saying. I don't know where the child is. Nigga, it, you don't need to know where the child is. You really don't need to know. You're not making any decisions. I'm going to have her 95% of the time. I have to work. I, if I'm in another country and it's your weekend to keep her, we're going to have to switch weekends because I'm not flying back to give you, like nobody's doing that. Melody and Martell, the same thing. And y'all be looking at the women like, oh, they doing something to the men. No, these men are using the children as pawns to control the mother. And that's what's happening. I'm not going to stop traveling and working just because you're the one that filed for a divorce. So, and you be having guns around and stuff. No, we're not, no, we're not playing those games. And my mom and my brother want to be here. You know, if you're marrying an Asian woman, you should understand her culture and you should understand that that's culture. Unfortunately, in your culture, they try to mimic white people and assimil assimilate to some fake ass nuclear ass family. It is failed miserably over and over again, but the people want to try and do it.
The outcome is not changing. The outcome is not changing. You have your single, you have single mothers that are just doing, they have to, they do what they have to do. They're not allowing a man to stop their movement. And just like we just said in the great cosmic mother, they think as soon as you have a baby, everything else stops. You don't get to go to the Usher concert and dance sexy. He has a baby with you. Now I control you, woman. I have a baby with you. Y'all don't even see it. Y'all so used to thinking women are doing stuff to men. Oh, it, 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 she must be. He he has to act like he wants to see this baby. He has, girl, you're not you're not wanting to do that, didn't you? Didn't he file for sole custody and then turn around and file for primary again? What did he do? He switched it up. You don't know what you want to do. You're trying to figure out a way to do what? When I'm back in the States, if I'm in Thailand, where's she from? If I'm in Thailand and we're down here for four months or whatever, girl, you just gonna have to, this is my baby. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You just gonna have to wait till the, we get back. <laughs> girl, what are you doing? You don't need to know where we are as, as long as she's safe. And I'm her mother. So she's going to be safe. And I have my, my brother and my mother. You remember, you didn't want them around. You married an Asian woman and didn't think her mama and her brothers and her family was going to be around. Oh, so you really don't know. So you, you, mar you married into a culture and had no idea. You didn't see it when you were dating. You didn't see that her mother was around a lot. You didn't see that her mother was a big part of her life. You didn't see that? You didn't see that her family is a big part of her life? Mm, okay. And Jeannie, Jeannie, Ma, Jeannie has her mom and dad in her life. I think her mom and dad are divorced, but they are both in her life. Her brother. I used to watch Hello, Honey. I used to watch it. That's why I know I was like, y'all be thinking the Asian girls are this demure, like, no, girl. Especially Jeannie Mai's mother, girl. Mama Mai, girl. And they from the Bay, girl. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Dummy. Like, I don't know what you thought you was about to get. Some pushover? I don't know. They're weird. It's weird. Tina Knoll says Zendaya reminds reminds her daughter of reminds her of daughter Beyonce. She's just the most gracious, beautiful girl. Day I imagine. Oh my God, and I love Zendaya. Yeah, tell me, girl. tell me about her evolution. Oh my God, she is just. You know, the first time I saw her, I, I used to watch her in the the Disney series with my grandson, and I just it, she just you know, reeked of stardom. And she is just the most gracious, beautiful girl. And um, she reminds me of my daughter. She's a Virgo like my daughter. Are you a tennis fan? Of course. She's a Virgo like my daughter. She's a Virgo like my daughter. Girl, why is Kanye West reportedly listed as suspect in a battery report? LAPD alleges he struck a man who allegedly grabbed his wife. Kanye might have new legal trouble on his hands. He's named in a named suspect in a battery report and cops are now looking into the claims against him. Law enforcement sources tell us police are investigating Ye after cops say they were told he punched a man in the face late Tuesday night, but the guy he struck had allegedly pushed or grabbed his wife, Bianca Sensori. We're told uh, Kanye and Bianca took off after the alleged altercation and the alleged victim did not require treatment for injuries. We're told police plan on reaching out to Kanye for his side of the story and also will speak to witnesses. Yeah, I mean, that can happen if you grab somebody's partner, if you grab somebody's flat family member or child, somebody, if you grab a relative, you're going to get beat up. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, girl. So if he did, if he did beat somebody up for touching the woman, then I don't know what to say. If he, if he slapped somebody or hit somebody, or I mean, what is he supposed to do? Just let somebody grab his wife, his partner, his relative, his daughter, his sister, his mother, whoever, honey, it don't matter. Y'all are weird. Let's read some of the comments. Hmm. Maybe someone 
offered his naked wife a robe to cover up at Disneyland. Man grabs wife. Man, <coughs> man grabs wife. Man gets punched in the face. Did LAPD arrest the guy for protecting his wife? Make it make sense. Charged for protecting his wife? Anything to shine a negative light on Ye. Why touch another man's wife? He's in trouble with the law for protecting his wife after she was assaulted? So Ye gets in trouble because he protected a woman, his wife, from sexual assault. This is America. Wow. I hope Ye's wife filed charges as well. Like, girl, okay. I, I, I'm glad I'm not the only one because I don't even make any damn sense. Glorilla's mugshot from the DUI arrest surface. <laughs> she, um, she was drinking on the live. That is hilarious. DUI arrested for DUI in Georgia. They said she was making a U-turn and then the cop asked her how many drinks. And I think she failed a breathalyzer. She bailed out, but, um, Damn, not her calling JT a felon and getting arrested. Why are her eyes so far apart? She's Hello Kitty. That's how I say Brandy. There's the girls that look like that. There are, I mean, just people who look like that. They're just eyes look are far apart, like Hello Kitty. I used to call Brandy Hello Kitty. Because Brandy looks the same way. Well, she has the same face. Her eyes are far apart. I think I think Glorilla is so pretty. I really do. Get them glow. Get him glow. Get him glow. All right, let's see. Black China reflects on the industry pressure, pressure to get surgery. I wanted that Hollywood Angelina Jolie look. And she was already pretty, already cute. Girl, young Jeezy and Jeannie Mai, I don't have anything else to say. I don't feel sorry for neither one of them. Neither one of them. I don't feel sorry for neither one of them, but I am going to defend the mother with the child. So, and you ain't going to stop nothing trying to control people. Mm -mm. That's why you get far as far away from them as you can, if you can, because all they want to do is they will use the child to control you. Trust me. Uh uh. We're not playing those games. Um, Drake shares a photo of Kendrick Lamar's manager. We're getting in our bag or nah? L. OJ Simpson has officially been cremated. It dies at 76. Yeah, I'd rather be cremated. Don't put me in, I mean, it's don't put me in a box in the ground. Just pre cremation. Cremation! And spread my ashes amongst the sequoias. Period. That's it. That's it. Update, Jeannie, Jeezy takes back his primary custody request, files for a new motion for joint custody. Right, because you are ridiculous. Because what you're trying to do is get her to come back to and be in vicinity to you. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, Zendaya says she doesn't know if Euphoria will return for season three. It's beyond Euphoria, will me. we see its third season? I, I, I don't know. I am. I am. I am not in charge. But, but you want it. But of course, I. You know, I, I, if it's right for the characters and everything turns out the way it should, of course. But it's it's, it's beyond me. <laughs> but one day at a time. Yes. Euphoria. Will we see it? Shout out to Zendaya. Ashanti. Ashanti reveals she and Nelly are engaged. This new year of my life is such a blessing. Congratulations to your pregnancy um and give the baby the last name isn't her last name douglas what's ashanti's last name hold on i believe it is douglas hold on ashanti yeah ashanti douglas Ash ashanti sequoia that's so funny that i just mentioned the sequoias and that's this child's middle name 
she's 43 years old she's not a child she's having her baby honey if you want to have a baby have your baby i have no problem with it now i don't have even if she if they weren't engaged i know that's they playing the role like let's get engaged we have to show the community we're doing it the right way instead of just designing your life the way you want to fucking design it stop thinking that being a unmarried a unwed mother is uh, so bad like it's not and that's your baby and the way you get married it gives that man property over your baby that's why they over there that i have rights girl that's they're not property they're not property but that's your baby <laughs> they're not property but that's your baby they mm, 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 mm. once the host that's the host it belongs to the host that's why some women are just like i don't care if he what was i watching um somebody was talking about um oh i think it was bambi that how much child support she gets she was like I, whether it comes or not it's nothing nothing is going to stop what i'm going to do for my children whether he's there or not whatever like y'all not y'all don't shame these dudes enough y'all be trying to shame the women y'all don't shame them enough so it's not going to stop but it's not going to stop the women from progressing it's just not whether you give or not great but that's not going to stop anything. So hopefully she gives the baby the last name Douglas. Hopefully after all these years, she doesn't fall into like that kind of traditional way where you just like give, like change your last name and give like, and then I don't know, start playing these weird ass roles. It's just weird. Um, Nelly ain't got no dilemmas and Ashanti ain't foolish no more. They both ran the longest yard. Now they're rocking like never before. That was cute. Nelly finally doing what we've been want, wanting him, waiting on him to do for 20 years. I love this for her, especially because there's a lot of trash talk about them being back together and her still not having a ring. Although I don't care to do shit the way other people we should, what? The way other people feel we should do shit. I'm glad she's shutting y'all perfect patties up. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. She doesn't have to get married, but I know that's why they're saying they're engaged. Like, they'll probably be engaged. I mean, the baby will come and they'll still be engaged. Like, I think that is like a lot of it. Like, a lot of what the people do is for show, you know? So it is what it is. As a fan of them both, I'm happy for them. Congratulations. Oh, I remember somebody tweeted for Nelly to get her pregnant the night and he responded he was on it. <laughs> Congratulations to my faves. We go a we go a two for one a day. I don't understand. Yes, wedding rings and baby bottles. Um, she deserves all the happiness in the world. Such a beautiful soul. I know I should know. I'm a Libra. <laughs> Shout out to the Libras. Um, yeah. So congratulations to Ashante. Listen to this big dummy. Um, NBA bans Jonte Porter for life after invest investigation reveals he violated league gambling rules. This is from Hollywood Unlocked. On Wednesday, the NBA handed down a lifetime ban to Toronto Raptors Jonte Porter after he was found to have violated the league's gambling regulations. According to multiple reports after an investigation, the NBA found out Porter disclosed confidential information to sports bettors, limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. In a statement released by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, he stated there is nothing more important than protecting the integrity of NBA competition for our fans, our teams and everyone associated with our sport which is why John T. Blake, John T. Porter's blatant violations of gaming rules are being met with the most severe punishment. He added, while legal sports betting creates transparency that helps identify suspicious and abnormal activity, this matter also raises important issues about the sufficiency of regulatory framework currently in place, including the type of bets offered on our games and players. Working closely with all relevant stakeholders across the industry, we will continue to work diligently to safeguard our league and game. 888 likes. 
let me tell you how I've been seeing 444 like consistently just today. Let me see. I'm like, I'm taking screenshots every fucking time. I'm taking screenshots every single time. Four, four, four. I keep seeing it. Comments, likes, four, four, four. The other day, shout out to Always Amira. She posted her receipt on her story. And I was looking at her story and her total was like four, four, four. I was like, girl, I keep seeing four, four, four. And I sent it to Charles. I was like, I keep seeing four, 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 four. I keep seeing it. So, you know, I had to um, look it up. I was like, what is 444 in the angel numbers? Because, I mean, when I tell you, it's been popping up, popping up, popping up over and over and just in all kind of weird spaces. And I've been, I just been taking screenshots. I just been taking screenshots. And then the other day I looked down and it was 444. I was like, this is crazy. So 444 means protection, the universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. Pay attention to your thoughts and your environment. You are being guided and supported through whatever you're focusing on at the moment. Keep going. I'm on the right path. I was like, yes. I just keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. And every time I see it, I acknowledge it because I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I get it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, so what else is happening? And then I see 888, and then I, I've been seeing 666, but I've only seen it a couple of times in the past couple days. 888, I always acknowledge angel numbers, but when they keep popping up, like every now and again, you'll see, you know, 111, 1, you know, 222, 333. And then my personal, I have a, my personal number is 808, right? And so I, when I see that, I acknowledge it. I acknowledge when I see the time in my birthday, 824. I always acknowledge that. I'm always about the numbers. It's so funny. I've always been like that. Like I will start something and I want to start it like on a certain day because however many days it takes me to get to the next point. I don't know. I've always been like I wanting to start things on auspicious days. I can't wait till 420. I can't wait. I think that's going to be a really a good luck day for me. Not only because it's like the reefer day, but I mean, like, I just think it's going to be a good day for me. I do. So anyway, so AAA, shout out to AAA. I'm about to like it. And it's going to make it 889. All right. Let's see. Wendy Williams Guardian demands Kevin Hunter repay $112,000 for being overpaid. And for $10,000 <laughs> for being overpaid in their divorce. Come on, overpaid. Somebody over there doing the accounting. Oh, Wendy. I miss Wendy Williams. Don't y'all miss Wendy Williams? I really do. I really do. I really do. And I, I don't care what anybody says. I feel like Wells Fargo was protecting her. I feel like they were over there going through money as we can see somebody's overpaid being overpaid right at least somebody's going through her accounting who's who's doing the accounting over there wendy williams guardian has filed new legal papers requesting kevin hunter to repay one hundred and twelve thousand five hundred in alimony according to page six did you see us on page six did you see us on page six <laughs> Sabrina Morrissey alleges in court documents that William's ex-husband was paid more than he was owed for three months and unfairly benefited from Williams's funds. Morrissey claims that the payments from Wendy Williams show to Hunter stopped in October 21, but he received payments until January 2022, right? When things were probably in limbo, right? When people were like trying to figure out what was going on with her, you over here get it, get into the money, Kevin. We already know. We already know. I believe this was largely largely a result of the fact that the payments had been put on an auto pay function within her account. 
Morrissey said in documents obtained by the news publication. She stated that the payments violate their settlement agreement, which specify that Hunter's payments would stop if Wendy's income dropped to less than her twice to less than twice her yearly income as of February 1st, 2020. By holding on to the funds, he was overpaid. He has interfered with Williams's right of possessions to those funds, the documents read. Somebody over there going through Wendy's books. At least we got somebody over there going through her books. Give it, give back the money while you over here filing saying that you, you want her to pay you. Imagine, girl, this guardian has taken more than that. Believe that. Say it with me. Who is this guardian? Why are they the guardian? Who is this guardian? Trick daddy. <laughs> Unpopular opin opinion. The documentary was not bad. It's just, un it's just unfiltered. And I'm happy we got to see the true Wendy. And a small segment of how her life and career went. But she was not in her right mind. I have not watched that. I'm not. I don't. Mm -mm. Kevin said he needed his minions. And they said, uh-uh, there was a discrepancy in payment. Right. Only if it's paid to Wendy and not this so-called anonymous trifling guardian. Why do y'all need to know who the guardian is? Why do y'all need to know? I don't understand. Girl, okay. It says, damn, and he's still struggling to pay those HOA fees, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Let me see what I have saved. I'm going through the new stuff. I don't want to see Stevie J on, a, on my timeline with no shirt on. I don't want to see it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, let's see what I saved. You hear the kid outside yelling? Okay, let's see. After seeing this clip, oh, this was funny. A celebrity spiritualist goes viral for, for calling herself a witch. Of course I have a crystal collection. Oh, it has music. She says, of course I'm a witch. I I'm a witch. Of course I have altars in my house that you bet not touch. I just want to read the comments. It says the Atlanta millionaire witch Layla Ahari going viral for her controversial video. By saying she's a witch? What I tell you, if it's not white, male, hetero, Christian, and thin, girl. Are we are we we are we supposed to be running around and not acknowledging that? witches exist <laughs> are we supposed to be acting like that let's read the comments <laughs> when i tell you listen the first comment is bondi <laughs> hail to the watchtowers of the north <laughs> hear us <laughs> shout out to bondi blue <laughs> shout out to bondi blue I put P.S. Psalms is full of spells. If you know, you know, and a lot of the Christian Christianity, most of you blindly practice the rituals you perform, have a little hoodoo sprinkled in there, here or there. <laughs> and I said, and herbs. Yes, come on, and herbs. Hail to the watchtowers of the West. Hear us. <sighs> it's uh, somebody said, here we go. This is these are the these are the type of posts that I love because you get the I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, the one and only living God, of course. I rebuke you and all your demonic practices, and I send Holy Ghost fire upon your altars and send them back to a, a dry, dark space in the pits of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> because there is no name more powerful than, his, than the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, all the glory be to God. You tried it. <laughs> baby, she said Holy Ghost fire, <laughs> thunder fire, baby. When it, Rodney does that, <laughs> I tell you, I'll be in here rolling. Holy Ghost fire, boombastic. <laughs> I'll be in here dying. 
Christians say don't do magic. It's evil. Prophets, psychics, anointed oil, sage. Don't do astrology, but yet they follow the North Star to find baby Jesus. Don't do rituals, but do communion. Manifesting prayer. Don't summon spirits, but catch the Holy Ghost. <laughs> but I'm a hush. <laughs> I love these comments. And it was so funny because when I went to the comment, that's why I said the, this comment has 666 likes. When I, and I didn't like it because it has 60, 666. And so I just left it at 666. I'm going to go over here and mind my God-fearing business. Christians should not quarrel or engage in foolish arguments. Second Tim Timothy 2, 22 through 26. I'm a Jesus Christ believer, of course. I rebuke this post in the name of Jesus, honey. I cover myself and everyone else with the duh, blood of Jesus. Amen. No weapons formed us against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus name. And y'all witches saying the Bible is a spell book. Y'all are lying. The devil is a lie saying Jesus turning water to wine is magic. Girl, bye. Jesus is God. God meaning God meaning can do God meaning God can do anything. God came to the earth like us humans and taught and died on the cross for us. So there so those out there who are like, oh, make makes sense. Uh, uh. I rebuke that thought out of your head. What? Read your word. And y'all witches, y'all better stop what y'all doing before it backfires on y'all. And God's people make sure to be careful about who prays for you. We cast spells with with winning lotto numbers. Cast a spell for world peace. They never can. She's no witch. Come to Africa and see real witches. They don't even openly identify, but they can show you. Y'all keep playing with these people. You see how the black astrology lady in Woodlands, Woodland Hills killed her whole family. Her mental illness has nothing to do with what's going on in the stars, girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. You see, they that for generations, witches, and it'd be the healers, and then they 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 keep you out of the healing arts, and then they create all these contraptions that like kind of like are kind of look like they're like cruel and unusual little slight punishment and stuff, you know. The way the father of gynecology, imagine that the father of gynecology give me a fucking break girl before there was a father of gynecology there was a mother of gynecology trust me she she got her altar with crystals but no offering for her ancestors actually she didn't show her altars she did her camera like that and didn't show them because it's none of your goddamn business girl God and magic don't go together, sis. You worship something else. The blood of Jesus has power. Jesus protect us, girl. It's it's comedy to me. It's straight up. I knew those comments were going to be like that. It's so hilarious to me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else. Oh, here's a woman. Says, it says a woman. Remember I told you. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. I, I was, I made a video the other day. Oh, it's been 42 minutes already? Girl, I've been running my mouth. I don't even know what we talked about. I got to go, though. I was talking about her the other day on another video. I just haven't uploaded it yet. Okay, I'm going to upload it. Because I was talking about that lady that confronted that girl, that um, content creator. And she was like, um, con she was um, whirling around in a phone booth. <laughs> For for men, for black men, and she went off on this and on this content creator. I guess I don't know who the content creator is. The video is old; it's a few years old. But every now and again, it comes back up and it recirculates, and you know to keep keep the party going, you know. But it's this woman confronting this black woman confronting a younger black woman about the way she talks about black men online. Imagine, girl, I wish you, I wish a motherfucker would, girl. I wish she would come to me to confront me about the way I talk, drag these niggas on. I wish you would, girl. Girl, I wish you would. Listen to her. You great hugging yourself, but stop talking shit to people who want to talk. Stop coming for black men specifically to the next time you say that a black man is not a king, the next time you say that a black man is chasing and working, you will see somebody else walk up on you 
just like I just walked up on you. No, you're not a Barbie, you're not a Tracy, you're a black girl. Accept this and race. You got a mission, pick up. This is the one where everybody said all black I mean, I just all see my and then she, when two black men are walking by, she tries to get their attention to ask them, do they know about her? What, what, what do you want them to do? Beat her up? Let's read some of the comments. I said, oh, girl, y'all love whirling around in phone booths ready to save a nigga. Didn't Megan and Glorilla just tell y'all don't save him? He don't want to be saved. Take your capes the fuck off. They never show up for you, sistren. Rest. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Right. Black men don't even like black women. <laughs> Girl, them black men gonna laugh at you first for wearing your bonnet in, in public. How about that? Here's Cynthia G. The bonnet wearing banshee look like she smells. Oh my God. Child, I've seen black men disparage black women openly. I have never seen a black man do this about black women. We got to stop caping for men that hate our guts. But black men aren't all kings. Sorry, kings run kingdoms. I'm not calling nobody king that's not qualified. Black women get dragged daily and black men never reciprocate this energy. Do black men ever defend black women this way to other black men? The way black men would not do the same for a black woman, unhinged behavior, go fucking confront your congressman or governor who is taking your rights away instead of some random ass person on TikTok. <laughs> Most black men wouldn't even look nor defend a woman her size. Meanwhile, she's attacking someone over TikTok. We don't know her from TikTok. We met her on Catfish and we know she do give a fuck. She's going to she's going too hard for a group of men that would choose a slim white model over her lmao and she don't give nah fuck most black men would not do the same for her i don't know why she's going so hard ma'am you just say you just say you wanted a viral moment by dissing her content that lady is free to say what she wants without you huffing and puffing in her face Girl, black men do not like you. Why do you black women do this? This is embarrassing. Damn, a decade later and Tracy's still pissing people off with her bad, her bad wig self. Tracy Barbie never cared, Miss Ma'am. You're wasting your time. I don't know, but I still love Tracy Barbie. She is the queen of catfish. I think that's why where I remember her from. Somebody said, I wish black men protected us like this, but this girl been needing to catch hands since she was like 16 causing hell <laughs> meanwhile that lady been mental since we seen her on catfish that's ashley shout out to ashley miller and you you guys let me tell you something the whirling around in phone booths and them niggas don't even get up off the couch when something happens to you you saw this woman in public and went to confront her girl if you don't get the fuck out of my face put that on your goddamn ticky tock <laughs> anyway i gotta go she doing all this in her face girl if you don't get out get your hands out of my face how about specifically black me girl anyways y'all about to go i'm about to go go outside get a little bit of fresh air I have the rest of my little mocha, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just smoke a little Aretha, you know, and just relax, you know, and then get my day started. So take care of each other, protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.